Anyone? <coughs> Andrew, six, 16 rebounds. Um, you know, early on in the game, they were kind of controlled on the glass. Um, was there something that clicked? Is there something that you heard, something you saw? What led, led you to attack like that? Um, I just know last game they had, you know, uh, rebounded us and, you know, got a lot of offensive rebounds. And so today I just want to come in and, you know, be aggressive on the board, you know, and try to help out. Shane, middle. Andrew, Shane Young with Ford Sports. What's going through your mind in that second half, particularly in the fourth quarter when they're swarming Steph and he's still getting off great looks and, and knocking them down? Um, I mean, all you can do is watch, you know. <laughs> when Steph has the ball sometimes, um, you just watch and see what he does. You know, he's that type of player. They can go get his own and get everyone involved. Um, but it was an intense fourth quarter. You know, it was a good competitive fourth. Question from Kendra up front. Um, Andrew, you guys outscored the Celtics 15 to zero in, in crunch time. What kind of from your guys' defense has changed or really locked in for that, <coughs> that final stretch? Uh, we just, we were helping each other out. You know, we were helping each other out, um, playing together, um, playing aggressively on the defensive side, and most importantly, just closing out, you know, uh, grabbing rebounds, you know. No offense rebounds, they didn't get second chance points, so that was big. Any other questions for Andrew? Ooh, plenty of questions. We'll go to Steve right to the left. Uh, Steve Ashburn, NBA.com. Given the condition or unknown of Steph's foot, how much did you wonder what you might get out of him today, and when did you know, oh, yeah, this is okay? <clears throat> to be honest, as soon as he steps on the court, I just think Steph's going to be Steph. You know, regardless of who we're playing, how he's feeling, um, I feel like if he steps on the court, he's ready. You know, he's going to go out there and dominate like he did tonight. Go to Maddie on the right here. Uh, Draymond and Jordan Poole have both, and Clay, I mean, not Jordan Poole, have both talked about how you guys all need to step up, you know, to help Steph going forward because mm -hmm. he kind of really willed this one. What What is kind of the conversations about that? you know, in preparation for Monday? Um, yeah, we all just got to do our part. Um, <clears throat> we have a lot of guys that can go in the game and affect the game in different ways, and, you know, and right now everything is needed, you know, whatever anybody has to give. You know, you don't want to look back, you know, a couple weeks from now and be like, I should have done that, I should have done that. You know, you got to leave it all on the floor. Last few questions for Andrew. Put Anthony in the back. Yeah, in your career, you, you've averaged somewhere around like four or five-ish rebounds a game. In these playoffs, I think you're up over seven now. What do you think has kind of unlocked that part of your game even more? Um, I want to win. <laughs> you know, and I know rebounding is a, is a big part of that. Um, I just want to win, and I feel like sometimes we play small. Um, so I just try to go in there, you know, and rebound, help the team out. Final question, Dan in the middle. Find from the ringer. Uh, Draymond has a lot of focus on the shots that he's, you know, missing or that hasn't been able to get to. Um, but what are you? What else are you seeing from him when you're out there? I know like, there's in and out of the game in the fourth quarter. But what did mm -hmm. you see from him when he was out there tonight? His energy. You know, he's still going to be Draymond. His energy is going to be 100. percent You know, he's still going to be on the uh, on the on the floor, on the defensive side. You know, locking up, making plays, um, and he's still coaching guys on the floor. You know, he's still the anchor. Thanks, Andrew.